Hi everybody, I'm Merklefunf. This is a video walkthrough for Enigmatis, the Ghosts of Maple Creek. It's the first game in the Enigmatis series. Let's check it out. You can play on regular mode or the more difficult expert mode. What, what happened to me? One minute I was, and now, now my heart is beating in my ears like hummingbird wings. And my hands are shaking. And covered in blood? Ah! It's not the cold that's sending shivers down my spine. It's what just happened. An event I have no memory of. So our main character is a police detective with amnesia. She just wakes up, my hands are covered in blood, and it looks like there's a storm here. Yeah, it looks like some sort of electrical storm, like lightning must have hit this this telephone pole or something. It's creepy and weird. Yeah, th this is not a good situation. So let's pick up some stuff here. Uh, random pieces of paper. Ooh, a key. This is the key to my hotel room. Good. And missing. This is what my case is about. I'm here to find this missing woman. Uh, we also have a journal. I should have checked the journal first. Silly me. I remember now. I came to Maple Creek in search of a missing girl. And I'd already started the investigation when... When what? Wait, my notebook. I was renting a room here. I've got to find it. All the evidence I've collected should still be there. So that's the story. I don't have any memory, but I do remember that I, I was working out of room number two. Room number two of the hotel. So it looks like uh, I'll find my case notes there. Hopefully that will jog my memory so I can uh, resume the case of finding this missing girl. Let's go into town. So in town, we've got a couple of areas to explore. Uh, not too what? We have a group of people in robes with torches. Yikes. And the road gets blocked by some pigs. Our wild boars, wild boars. So I need to get a flare gun to get rid of them. And that'll basically be the uh, end of this little segment here. We can look at the car. It doesn't look like I can examine anything. Ew, broken battery. Was I in a car crash? I don't know. Huh. So I can open the car door, look inside. Got my keys. And what's in the glove compartment? 30 years ago, 1980, a private eye named Richard Hamilton was investigating a disappearance in Maple Creek. He vanished into thin air. Neither Hamilton nor the missing person was ever found. Maybe there's a connection between that and your current case. Good luck, detective. Ah, and I, I have an, an important access card, so I can use that to check out my case notes. Nothing but static. The radio must be broken. Well, that makes sense. It was a car crash, after all. So this key can be used over here in the trunk of the car. And that'll give us a hidden objects challenge. I'll talk about those in just a moment. Let's explore the other places. This is a tower. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, we will want to climb this tower, right? This is clearly a broken ladder. I, I do not want to use that ladder. Uh, over on the right hand side, we have uh, the town's namesake. Maple trees, lots of maple trees here. Yeah, what's this? I'm trying to see what, what that is. I thought I saw something sparkling, I guess. No, it's sparkling! Something sparkling there. I don't know what it is. Looks like I can't pick it up yet. A dude! Dude, hey! Hey, you! Mister! I've... Huh? Rip! Run! No, wait! Please! Run, 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 run. So who was that mysterious man? Why didn't he talk to me? And did he just destroy this missing poster? What a weird thing to steal. Odd. Well, rooms for rent. Uh, these are pamphlets about the area. 
look at it. Nice tower. Yeah, 102 feet. I probably need to climb it to get a very good view. All sorts of animals and and hiking trails. Nice, nice. And landmarks. We have the bridge. Hey, I just saw that. The tower. I saw that. I have not seen this Maple Creek tree, though. Really, really large old tree. Interesting, interesting. This is a sign that says, Welcome to Maple Creek, your town. Your tour season paradise. Paradise? Huh. That seems like a sarcastic remark. Yeah, this, this town isn't paradise. It's terrible. And uh, that, that's the edge of town. We can't go any farther. So uh, we wanted to come all the way here to get a plank. Guess I should show off the notebook here. Uh, the notebook, it keeps notes of what happened. So what happened? Strange events. The stranger. We also have objectives if you need to know what you're trying to do next. And a map which shows areas where you can do things. Which brings me back to hidden objects. We have two hidden objects challenges. Those sparkles indicate hidden objects challenges, so let's solve them both. Uh, bolt cutters here. Lug bolts. Pine cone. If I open up this, I can get a pen and a ruler. Let's see, a uh, pocket knife. What is a weather? I, no seriously, what is a weather? Um, I'll probably have to use a hint for that. The hint, let's see, I want a pill package first. An umbrella. I don't see any umbrellas. I don't see any arrows. Okay, I'll just use a hint then. That's an umbrella, it's a little drink umbrella. Okay, okay, I get it. It's not one of those like fancy umbrellas that'll keep out the rain. So, weather and arrow are the last two. What is weather? Like a weather report, maybe? The word weather? Yeah, there it is. It's, it's a picture of the sun near some clouds. That was the weather. And finally, the arrow is here. Solving that puzzle gives me a pair of bolt cutters. Excellent. Let's solve this hidden objects challenge. This gives me an angel hat. That's the important item we're looking for. Tennis ball. If I open up this, I get a stamp. Looks like a pair of gloves. A fang. Ooh, that sounds nasty. A roller skate. Let's see. Underwear. Underwear. We want glasses. I'll use a hint. That's a collar. That's a banana peel. Glasses, moon, and a daisy. Well, there's a daisy. Do I have glasses or a moon? There are sunglasses there. So the final item we need to find is the moon. Which I can't see. I'm looking down at the ground. Well, there's the sun. Usually the moon is in the sky, but it's probably... What? Oh, that's a little moon trinket. Okay. Totally could not see that. So the angel head goes over here for a puzzle. It's a simple enough puzzle you want to move their heads around so they're all in the right spots. So for example, this piece has a, a bit of a collar on the left, so you know it goes on the left. Now we get a second part to this challenge. Pink angel head. So that one goes there, that's perfect. I think this one goes here because it's matched with the scratch. See the scratch? Uh, this one has a green collar, so it probably goes down there. Well, this one has a book, so that one goes up there. That has a yellow collar, so it goes here. Uh, green collar and green collar. Again, we've got two green collars, so that is kind of difficult. Somebody's facing to the side, right? So this one's facing to the side, so that one has to go there. Uh, I think maybe we've got like a trophy in front of that one and maybe these two get swapped those two get swapped okay so when I find a blue angel head I will come back and continue with the puzzle
So, here we're gonna use the bolt cutters to get inside. Inside the boarding house. We have some pictures. A picture of the preacher. Two items here. John, when you finish those pipes, don't forget about the doll. What does that mean? Did somebody drop a doll in the pipe system? No signal, no tone, no nothing. The line's dead. Well, I'm stranded in this town, except for that guy who ran away from me, and then the group of strange people in, in, in like creepy robes. I don't like that. So that door is locked. Is this door locked? No, let's check it out. Or not. Okay, I broke something. Uh, clearly, I broke a fuse. I'm gonna have to build a flashlight or something, right? Let's go upstairs. We have a broken floor. I have to use the plank from the gas station to get across. Looks like I could destroy the restroom if I have the right item. And here is my room. I put my key in the door and I turn it. Let's go inside. This must be my room. Must be, must be. Let's see, that is a... It needs a new light bulb. That's, that's all broken and stuff. Oh man, no internet. Okay, so I, it looks like I do have some some tabs opened up. Like Maple Creep, is it, is it worth it? No, it's creepy, don't go there. Weirdcases.com. Yeah, it looks like we've got um, creepy mysteries here. Oh, I wanna play a game called Time Mysteries. That sounds like a fun video game. Hmm, door is firmly shut. What the? Oh! Whoa. Glowing zombie eyes. I don't like that. Who or what on earth was that? What did he take? Did he just take like a knife? It looked like a knife. Jeez. Okay, so I have a, I have a light bulb, broken flare gun. I need to find the flare. And Lost Girls of Maple Creek. That is more evidence. So I'm gonna move this here. See, I just click on that little stool. Click on the light bulb to remove the old one, and then I put in the new one. Finally, I can get a look at the evidence. Now we can look at some evidence, everybody. Evidence. Woo! So I was using the wall as an evidence board. Which is kind of destructive of the wall. Yeah, I'll probably have to pay a fine or something for that. Only one clue survived, and now I have to start over from the beginning again. Oh, darn. And here I hoped that, you know, this would this would uh, jog my memory. I'm going to skip the tutorial. I know what to do. So you use the magnifying glass to zoom in on evidence. Like, okay, Emily Smith disappeared 30 years ago. 30 years ago. And then there's this creepy preacher. 30 years ago, ah, Richard Hamilton. He was probably trying to figure out what happened to Emily, right? If they were both hanging around doing stuff at the same time. Okay, so let's see. Case subject, this woman. That evidence goes there. Uh, looks like I might need some more evidence. Hmm. Now let's just clear off this like broken stuff from the board because that's clearly not evidence I can use. Great. Oh, and what do you know? We have a an objects challenge. Well, before whoa, who's this guy? Who is he, and where is he going? I don't know. So uh, that strange man probably jumped off the balcony, which is not safe. I'll need something sturdy to go down from the balcony. Hint says there's nothing else to do out here, so let's go inside and solve the Hidden Objects Challenge. Maybe this Hidden Objects Challenge will give us another piece of evidence. Makes sense, right? Like it fell off the board and landed down here, the evidence. So we have a bunch of uh, dollar bills. Nice, we have an equal sign. That's good. A uh, pair of binoculars. Didn't I find binoculars in the previous Hidden Object Challenge? Uh, the P 
peace sign. All right, peace, everybody. So a, a tassel, a pencil sharpener, computer mouse. If I open this, I could probably find a compass. Great. Paper clip, a percent sign. Um, I don't see that anywhere. There's the pencil sharper. Another dollar bill. So binoculars, percent, arrow, and a comb. I don't see any of these items. Oh, man. I like to think I'm okay at hidden objects challenges, but this one is kind of uh, destroying me. This is not my favorite. So uh, let's take a look at this. Oh no, I need something to open my cool machine, and the item is a paper clip, which I get from this hidden objects challenge. All right. Oh, there's the percent. Found the percent. So binoculars and an arrow. Wish I could use that flashlight to explore downstairs. There's the, the pair of binoculars. Yeah, I could totally use that flashlight. Oh, and the arrow was actually a piece of glass. No wonder I didn't see it. Well, the bent paper clip goes here. If I click on it, yep, that fixes this button, the power button, so I can press it. I'm gonna have to use my card. And now here is the, the puzzle. This is called a, a nonograms puzzle. I need to make a heart shape. Sort of like this. And the number indicates how many tiles get lit up. So five in this particular row, three in this row, and one in this row. All right, number two, we're gonna make a, a jellyfish, it looks like, okay. Well, we're gonna start by doing these eights because those have to be filled all the way. We know that because they're eight. It's an eight by eight puzzle. So let's see. This is where it gets more complicated. Like I could do something like, okay, we've got a two here, but the two can't go here and the two can't go there. So the two probably here? Game isn't accepting that, so it's like that. There we go. That's how the two two works. And then seven. Well, it's it's seven, and we know the bottom piece is filled. So it's seven. We count seven going up from bottom. That's it. So here we have six starting with this. So it must be six like that. And then let's see. See, that's the four. Is that the four? Good. And this seven has to be all the way down. It's gonna have to be a mirror image of the uh, other side. Finally, we have a spade. Let's just make an image of a spade, shall we? And it looks like I completely filled out two rows just by filling out the, the 10 in the middle. So let's fill out some more tens, because we've got two more tens here. Nice, and hey, I mean, this is an eight. This row has eight. Well, if we cut out the spots on the outside, because those are already taken, we know that everything in that particular row must be filled. That's the only way it can be eight. So with four, uh, let's just try some guessing. How's that? Yep, great guessing, great guessing. Two, two, and two, that's easy as well. Four, I'll guess it's the middle four. And then six is going to be the middle six. Excellent, so now we get to find more evidence. Kate Burroughs lost. This is our current case. Kate is the, the woman who disappeared. Age 19, did not return. She went to leave with her boyfriend, who she met in April Creek three weeks earlier. She called home once, her cell phone died. Find Kate. Strange artifacts found in a church. Well, I'll keep the stuff that I robbed from the church. What? 
Why am I stealing from a church? I don't know. Okay, the new evidence gets added here. I imagine my current case is added to the current case. And then uh, attach it to Lost Girls, maybe? Where does the Lost Girls sign go? There we go. Hmm. Alrighty. I think that's all I can do with my evidence for now. You know, I, I, I could use a hint. Hint says we're all done. Hint says I'm not all done here. Obviously, I'm putting the flare in the flare gun because the flare gun needed to be fixed. I'll double check the map. You can also use the map as sort of like a hint button because it could tell you, hey, where can I do stuff? The crash site and the street. Those are the only two screens where I could do something. I know what I could do at the crash site. Uh, I can... Actually, no, I don't. What can I do here at the crash site? I can take a look at this. Oh, it says help me. Ah! That's the evidence thing that I was missing. So, very helpful. So I could either, like, spam the hint button to uh, figure out where to go next, or use the map. So help me goes here. So the missing girl is a teenager named Kate Burroughs. Lost October 11th, 2011. Apparently she's in great danger if she left the help me note. I must find her. What's more, we have a similar case from uh, 30 years ago. Maybe the disappearances are connected. So uh, I'm going to have to investigate this case just in case it's uh, related to my current one. That's how the evidence board works. We're all done with uh, the Kate Burroughs investigation. Next, we're going to investigate this Detective Hamilton. And the only clue we have is this picture of a preacher, which is not actually that helpful right now. Whoa! Help. Help me. Oh my, who's this? I remember now. No! You were wrong! You're still in great danger! We knew each other. And fairly well, it seems. I have to wake him up. Hmm. So I fought with this man shortly before I was knocked unconscious and lost my memory. And now he's unconscious. Oh boy. We need to find a way to help him. But let's bring an end to this video, shall we? I'm gonna use the flare gun here. That'll scare them. <laughs> Scares away the wild boars. Opening up a brand the new bell area. Tells incessantly, as if it's summoning something. Oh hey, here's that famous maple tree that uh, people were talking about earlier. And according to the map, yeah, there's nothing else I can do in any of the areas I've been to so far. I'm just gonna have to continue investigating this new area by the maple tree.